Welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and a special edition. We're going to do a recap on Jesse's uh, foot tracing, foot measuring, and simulating of her shoe ordering. We already did this, but I don't have I don't have any of my artwork anymore. It, it we left it at home in 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 the kerfuffle of getting packed and ready to travel out here. So we have Jesse's mom is our camera person, so we need to thank her for this. And then Jesse's sitting in the chair just right here. So um, we are going to go through the foot trace process. And this is the, I mean, one of the key important steps that you have to get as right as possible. So let me show you how we do that. So um, come on over here, Cheryl. And say hello to Jesse. Hi, hello, it's me, Jesse. <laughs> I am getting new shoes. Yep. I'm so excited. Baby, get, baby gets <laughs> new shoes. I've only had one pair. Oh, it's actually a pretty good story. I'll keep it super short. Sure. So as we were packing to come out for this trip to see my family in Pennsylvania, <laughs> George, he made a little box of things that we were going to ship ahead of time to save on the luggage going on the plane and george is like come on let's put a pair of your cycling shoes in this box and we'll ship them to pennsylvania and i'm like i can't do that because then i won't be able to ride my bike here in california if i ship my until shoes until we leave yeah <laughs> and he's like well what do you mean and i'm like i he's like are you saying you only have one pair of shoes and i said yes that's what i'm saying i only have one pair of cycling shoes so George, being the thoughtful boyfriend that he is, decided that I am worthy of at least two pairs of cycling <laughs> shoes. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's how this whole thing came about. And that is why I am sitting here in this chair at my parents' house, demonstrating yeah. how we got me a second pair of cycling shoes and they are pretty. Yeah. They're white and I'm like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna keep these clean. <laughs> Um, but George said not to worry. Yeah. He volunteered that since he chose the color and everything that he will be my shoe wiper cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, but like, I'm going to try to make it easy on him and not get them too dirty. Just like I'm your bike guy, I'll be your shoe guy. <laughs> so, yeah. And in my defense, I've, I've seen like three or four pairs of cycling shoes laying around. So I'm like, oh, she's got multiple pairs. She just likes this pair more than the others. And she always wears this pair. But one had a broken ratchet. One had something else. <laughs> one was a, <laughs> one was like, a SPD. You're like, those aren't shoes. Those are garbage. <laughs> Let's throw I'm those like, out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So here's how we're going to get started. So, um, so the important part is... You want to be, when you get the foot trace started, you want to make sure you have obviously a nice um, clean sheet of paper. But what I strongly suggest is for someone to be standing up with their shoulder, uh, their feet shoulder width apart. And then in this case, go ahead and just put your foot down. And then I will normally just kind of put it on an angle. It just gives me a lot more room. Okay. We need a good shoulder. Yes. Okay. And so, can you just lift just a little bit, sweetie? Because uh, the paper got ruffled. There it is. Now it's fully stretched. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hard to balance on one foot. <laughs> oh, well, you got to work on that yoga. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is just exactly what it sounds like. We're just doing a foot trace. Okay. Just like when we were in kindergarten and we used to make turkeys by putting our hand down on the piece of paper and mrs alvarez my kindergarten teacher would come and trace around my hand with a pencil and now for yep. each of my fingers would be a turkey feather just like that now for me always the toughest part is right around the, the heel uh, to get the trace right so good job cheryl you're cap capturing that perfectly okay so go ahead and dismount for me please and now we're going to do left foot same situation we want the person's feet shoulder width apart go ahead and set that bad boy on there turn it on an angle okay 
All right, and then we do the same thing here. So much more than a bicycle mechanic. I am. An artist. I am now an artist. Now, it does, uh, the instructions do talk about either, you know, the big toe or the second toe, whichever one is the longest toe is the one you have to incorporate as mm. far as your longest toe. Mm. Do we need to do it again? Should I back up my heel some? No, you're good. Go ahead and lift. Okay. There Come you on. go. You can use that one even though it came off the paper a little bit? No, it's good. Okay. Because I can see that this is the widest point here, so this little stuff is not going to matter. This here is fine, and this here is fine. Okay. okay.